Hey cutie. I am very excited. I haven't done this video for a little while now. I, my plan every month this year, at least every month that I could do this, I wanted to do a where are they now, revisiting my last year's purchases, kind of give you a like a year after review on the items that I brought into my collection. However, I was late to posting last month. Clearly, we're doing the February recap for February 2023 in March. But I also have the added bonus of having my crazy hiatus from last year. So purchases from March through, I'd say June, were all like smooshed into one video. So I think what I'm going to do for... April, May, and June is separate them into categories. But that is not this video. This is everything that I purchased in February of 2023. Where are they now? Kind of like an MTV, I feel like it's kind of like MTV style or like MTV Cribs, except it's reviews on beauty products that I've brought into my collection over the past year. So I'm, I'm excited about this and I've labeled my categories as a couple different things. I have my absolutely nots, like products that I absolutely did not enjoy. I either have decluttered, I returned, or I am hate panning or hate panned in some capacity. The next is the meh category, just meh. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad enough to like get rid of, but it wasn't, it didn't do enough in my mind. It doesn't hold a spotlight in my brain where it's memorable. Then I have my your cool category, which is products that I actually enjoy. Typically, I if it's not holy grail status, if I am not like completely obsessed with a product, I'm not going to repurchase it. They're like the they were good enough and I am going to keep it in my mind. But until I repurchase it or like I'm like, yep, this is this is it, then I consider it just it's cool it's fine alternatively I have my top shins category and that is my top options I really enjoyed it I have repurchased it I will be repurchasing it that kind of thing so I am really excited I definitely have the most in my top shins category this month so I'm really happy that the month of February I found a lot more loves than I found dislikes and yeah I only have four products in my like probably absolutely will not repurchase them categories. So I usually like to start these with my worst kind of products and I work my way up to the best products. I always like to save the best for last. We're going to kick things off with my absolutely not category. And these are just products that were not good. I really cannot recommend them in any capacity. I mean, I will talk about them in a capacity where maybe I could see who would like them, but these just didn't work out for me. And that's okay. Not everything is made for everyone, you know? So the first item I was so excited about because I'm, I really like the original version of this. And I saw they came out with a new version and I'm really, really happy I bought the mini size. The issue is, or with this is, I was on tretinoin at the time. So this severely dehydrated my skin more than the tretinoin itself did, which was already a lot. So adding this on top of it was just a recipe for horrendously dry skin. So this, I, you, I mean, you can see, I still have a ton of product left in there because I'm scared to use it, honestly. Then I don't have the product with me anymore. It was an empty that I got rid of at the end of last year, actually. So maybe I'll post a picture of the actual product on the screen. It is the Juice Beauty Brightening Primer. I had mine in a little mini like trial size that I got for free when I worked at Ulta. And this primer was really, really liquidy and it was very, very like golden glowy, but it just did nothing for me. It it did absolutely nothing. I find that my wet and wild glassy or glass correct green color correcting primer does a lot more in terms of brightening and giving you a dewy appearance than the Juice Beauty brightening primer did. I just, I wouldn't recommend that, honestly. Then next we have the meh category. Like they were okay. I don't, I won't repurchase them though for one reason or another. And based on the products that are in this category, it's mostly because of the price point doesn't justify the product itself. I had a couple of Dermalogica products that I lump into this category because they're good. However, they're just more expensive. And I think that there's other options out there that are more affordable that 
do the same, if not like an equally same job, if not a little bit better of a job. So the first one, I don't have the product anymore. I will post a picture over here is the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Cleanser. It was a, honestly, it felt like a lotion. Like you pump a lotion on your hand and then you cleanse your face with the lotion. It was so, so, so hydrating. It's really great if you have extremely sensitive skin or if you are kind of using a retinol product that maybe your skin just hurts right now because it's just it's just tender from the cells turning over so I really did like it for that but the reason why I wouldn't repurchase it is just because we'll talk about the product later on in this video actually but there are dupes for for this kind of product then the next product I actually have in front of me I started working on this around November last year and I, I only use it like once or twice a week if that and that's the Dermalogica intensive moisture balance moisturizer this is a extremely extremely thick nourishing moisturizing cream it is a very very lovely product it is deeply deeply nourishing for days when I have very very severely dehydrated skin on my face I can count on this to get the job done this is so nice the only thing that I have an issue with is the scent of this. It smells like a foot cream. I don't know how else to say it other than it smells like heavily medicated like a foot cream does, you know, like where it's trying to heal your poor cracked soles of your feet. Same exact scent. I swear this has the very similar scent to a foot cream and it really just it puts me off of using this so much because I'm like, I feel like Regina George when they switch her moisturizer with a foot cream, and, but I'm like, am I bamboozling myself? Then we go over to the Your Cool category. These are products I really enjoyed, but I'm not sure I would repurchase them. I could see myself maybe, maybe doing it, like if I had the extra funds, but I probably wouldn't repurchase them myself, if that makes sense. So first was the first in the list, I'm going to have a picture of it right now because it the box is destroyed and I feel like the box is much easier to see than me holding up all of these. This was the replica 10 piece like fragrance sampler set and I'm really happy that I went this route because I was going to buy myself a full size fragrance from replica just like treat yourself kind of moment without actually have ever smelling any of the replica fragrances. So I went with the 10 piece set because I'm like, you know, I'm not sure which one I really want. This is a nice way to try a bunch of different fragrances and see what, what jives the best with my like chemistry, you know? And I am so happy I did this because man, the scent I was going to purchase, I would have hated. So I'm really happy about this though. And I have eight here. And I mean, this guy here is super close to being done. That guy doesn't have a lot in it. Neither does this one. Some of them are super full. Most of them have some use. And again, I've used two completely up so far, which is always exciting. Another product I don't have in front of me to share. And I just, I really enjoyed the product. The price point is really what puts me off on wanting to purchase the product, honestly. If I found myself maybe with a Ulta gift card where I didn't have anything else in my mind that I wanted to purchase or need to restock on, I may splurge and do something like this. Get the picture here, the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Oil. This is a very, very luxurious cleansing oil. I really like cleansing oils. However, currently I'm really on a cleansing balm kick recently after I got the one from Shop Miss A. I really like cleansing balms again. It did, that does have a really heavy lemongrass scent to it though. So if you are someone that's really sensitive to smell or maybe you're allergic to lemongrass or you just really hate fragrance, like you can't have fragrance in your skincare products, stay away from it. It does have some like either lemongrass essential oil or some fragrance agent that really does smell like lemongrass. So it was really nice. It was a really beautiful product. It's just the price point. She's expensive and I don't want to spend that much on it. Then we can move over to my toptions category and those are my top options. The items that I either have or will definitely repurchase in the near future or again if I have repurchased them, I have repurchased them already. I have two of the products with me and I do not have two of the products because I've used them up already. But the first item is actually this guy here. This is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This came into my life. This 
this particular one came into my life last year in February. I did get this for free when I worked at Ulta, which is why there's a little barcode and why I've put green on the bottom so I know what was free and what's not. Um, this is a, something that has come into my collection again because I loved it so much. And when I saw it in our little freebies, I went, that is mine. Thank you so much. It's my favorite primer. There's a couple other primers I'm trying to finish before I really let myself have at it with this one. So I love this though. Fav an absolute favorite of mine. So happy this is in my life. Then a product that I don't actually have physically with me and I don't actually know why I haven't repurchased this. Actually, I do know why I haven't repurchased this. It's because I don't go to Sephora as often. And I really, really, really loved the Inky List cleansing. It's like the oat cleansing balm. It comes in a squeeze tube. So many people dog on it. However, when I had purchased it before, I had been suffering from using this a few times and my skin was so dry and irritated. Honestly, it felt so painful. It was so, so painful that I just was, I'm like, I need to get something because my skin hurts right now. I ended up getting the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. That was so nice and perfect for my severely dehydrated, damaged skin at the time. It almost creates a like a, a film over your skin. It just offered a barrier of protection to really allow your skin to breathe. This is a reminder to yourself, to myself, to put that in a cart somewhere and purchase it relatively soon. It's so nice. The last product I don't have physically with me is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane. Is it, the, is it the Tolerane moisturizer? I'm not sure, but it was their just normal everyday moisturizer. I will have a picture of it right here. It is just a no nonsense kind of moisturizer. It's almost similar in like this regard where it's very, very nourishing and it's very hydrating, but it has absolutely no scent, which is what I really liked about it. Then the last product I have to talk about is one that I has come into my collection. I think this is now the third or fourth bottle. The La Roche-Posay Tolerane Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This is very, very similar to the Dermalogica Gentle Hydrating Cleanser, I find. It's just a really nourishing cleanser. It's a little more runny than the Dermalogica one where it was very thick kind of lotion-y. This is really, really runny and just kind of like a body milk almost in texture, but it's a cleanser and it's so, so nice. It really is a no-nonsense, no-fuss cleanser. They're pretty inexpensive for a large size like this. This is the 13 and a half fluid ounce size or the 400 mil. I have one already in my shower. This actually is the one in my shower. It's so close to being done. And then I have a second one on my sink because I have one in the shower, one on the sink because I never want to be without this. This is such a nice cleanser. But that is absolutely a repurchase and I have and continue to repurchase that one. But that is it for my where are they now? My purchases from February of 2023. A whole year has gone by with these items and I can definitely say my standout products are the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Cleanser and then this guy here. I cannot wait to crack this open. I am so excited to use this in just a short couple months when I'm finished with another primer that I'm about to be working on. But that is it for my Where Are They Now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support in my March Makeup Madness Week. We have one more video posting tomorrow, and that kind of kicks off my normal posting schedule of twice a week. Uh, so thank you so much for any of the love and support that you've shown the videos over the past week. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!